everyone. This is Dr. Jessica of the Canna MDs. Uh, it's good to be back with you all. It's been a long time, and I just want to wish you a happy new year from the Canna MDs. I hope, uh, I hope, well, we all hope, the whole Dr. Knox clan hopes that you had um, a very wonderful holiday season with your family, friends, and loved ones. Um, but, you know, it's the start of a new year, and a lot of us are happy to wave goodbye to 2016 and welcome 2017 with open arms. And of course, with every new year, we all make New Year's resolutions. Um, most of us are trying to become better versions of ourselves. Um, and so that's why it's so exciting. I'm really excited today to be here to introduce you all to the Weed Horn Get Healthy with Cannabis Challenge. So for a long time, um, most of us have thought we've all been raised to think that cannabis is just a party drug. Um, but we're learning more and more every year that cannabis is so much more than what, uh, what we've been taught to believe over the years. Um, it's no longer just that dried up flower in the plastic bag you get from your friend or some shady guy on the corner. This is a real amazing plant that has incredible benefits um, that we're still learning about every single day. Um, and so, Weed Horn and the can of MDs were put, we put our heads together and we uh, wanted to bring you all this Get Healthy with Cannabis Challenge. This is a campaign to invite everyone um, to learn about how to use cannabis to get healthy, for us to teach each other about using cannabis to get healthy. Um, you're going to hear tips throughout the next three months from the can of MDs about using uh, cannabis, whether that's the hemp version of cannabis or the the cannabis version of cannabis, um, how to get healthy with those things. And we want to learn from each other. We want to learn from you. We want to hear from the, you guys and, and the community about how you're using cannabis to help help you get healthy. So um, just to kick off this campaign, um, I wanted to go through some New Year's resolutions that maybe people might have. You know, year after year, getting healthy is one of one of the most popular, if not the most popular New Year's resolution. So what does getting healthy mean to you? Um, perhaps it's physical health, emotional health, or social health. Um, whatever it is, let's talk about some of the ways that the amazing cannabis plant can help you get healthy this year. So um, probably the number one New Year's resolution that I hear year after year um, is I want to lose weight. Um, that's a really important one. And I want to talk about two parts of that. One is nutrition. That's huge. That's probably... In my mind, 90% of, of losing weight is nutrition, and then there's also physical activity. So starting with nutrition, we all need to eat better, probably less. Um, research is showing a plant-based diet is the best way for restoring health and promoting longevity. But even if you're not ready to go fully plant-based, there are ways to uh, make small tweaks to your diet that can really positively impact your nutritional intake and your health and help you lose weight. So hemp. Hopefully we're all familiar with hemp. Um, you can find it in many forms at your, your local grocery store, which is awesome, right? Because that means even people who are in states where cannabis isn't legally, medically, or recreationally can still access hemp at their grocery store. So hemp is awesome. Um, it helps curb hunger, helps uh, stave off sugar cravings later in the day. So why not? add it to our foods, right? So hemp seeds are great. I love adding hemp seeds on top of my salads. Um, you can add it to yogurt. Um, you can also find hemp oil, which is a great base for salad dressing or any time when you use olive oil, you can use hemp oil instead. Another great thing about hemp oil is that it's got that perfect ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s. Um, so that's awesome. Um, you can also add hemp seeds or hemp protein powder to um, your breakfast or lunch smoothie. Um, and that can help you help keep you full and energized until you're ready for your next meal. So those are just some simple ways to add hemp, um, which is easy to find at your local grocery store into your diet. Um, you can check out Weedhorn's website and other social media pages for uh, many great recipes incorporating, uh, incorporating hemp and cannabis. So make sure you check those out. Um, moving on to physical activity to help you lose weight. So physical activity is so important, um, not necessarily for losing weight itself, but 
but to help you solidify any weight loss you do achieve. Um, and, and you know when you lose weight, like you don't want to be flabby because you've lost a lot of flesh. You want to be toned up. So you've got to make sure that you're being physically active, whether that's lifting weights, um, doing cardio, hit, all of the above. You should be being active while you're trying to lose weight. Um, and also, as our bodies lose weight, our metabolisms tend to slow down. So physical activity is going to be crucial for you to rev that metabolism back up and keep you burning calories. So um, you know, a lot of people, when they start working out, you start getting sore, which is great. You want to be sore. That means your muscles are working. Um, as long as we're not talking about, you know, sharp shooting pains, that's probably not good. And you might want to check out your doctor if that if you're getting any of those sharp shooting pains, but a little bit of muscle soreness is good when you're getting active. So, um, something that can help sort of relieve that muscle pain faster and help you get back active again um, more quickly after you work out is to rub yourself down with some CBD topical. Um, just rub it directly where you're sore and you can get some nice relief, uh, not only just from like the direct massage of those sore muscles, but also that CBD is going to get in there to reduce inflammation and help you recover that much faster. We, the Weed Horden website also has some great DIY recipes for CBD topicals, so make sure you check those out. Um, and probably a lot of you out there are already experts in um, nutrition and physical activity and how you use cannabis to uh, support both of those. So make sure you're sharing your tips um, with the, the hashtag Get Healthy with Cannabis um, on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, and Facebook so that everybody can see what you're doing, what's working well, and they can try it out for themselves. Um, another really great uh, resolution that is out there is cutting back on alcohol. You know, I think a lot of us, myself included, will, you know, grab some wine or some beer when we get home from work to help us relax. Um, and that might not be the healthiest habit. Maybe you're worried you're drinking too much or becoming too reliant on, on the booze. Um, and cutting back on alcohol is not only just good for your system, but that's also going to be huge for helping you lose weight. That's like, you know, alcohol is a major con contributor to, to packing on the pounds. So why not use a CBD tincture, vaporizer, or a lozenge um, to relax instead when you get home? Maybe that should be the first thing you reach for. Um, all of those will work quickly to help you relax. Um, and not only... Are they going to help you feel better? But they're also going to tone up your endocannabinoid system while they're at it. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone there. So maybe first reach for the CBD, see how that works for you before you start reaching for wine or beer when you get home. I personally know a lot of patients who have cut back or cut out entirely their alcohol intake by using cannabis. Um, so if that's one of your goals, you can absolutely do it too. Another big goal that I love Quit smoking cigarettes. Um, this is huge. Quitting smoking is the absolute best thing that you can do for your health. And then what's really cool about quitting cigarettes is that almost immediately your body starts to heal itself um, from the damage you've done from, from smoking cigarettes over the years. And within several years, you can completely reverse the damage that's been done um, and recover the lung capacity that, that you lost while smoking cigarettes. Um, cannabis is a great way to help you quit smoking cigarettes. Why not start replacing cigarettes with a CBD vaporizer when you're feeling cravings that will help you finally wean off those cigarettes for good when you have something else that you can reach for. Um, and, and even just doing that physical motion of being, bringing a vaporizer to your lips and inhaling in that way, that can be a great replacement for, for cigarettes. Um, and I, again, know a ton of patients who have successfully finally quit cigarette smoking by using cannabis. Um, so again, not only are you taking away a horrible uh, cancer stick, you're replacing it with something that's going to boost your health, that's going to enhance your endocannabinoid system and make you healthier. Um, so that's a great one. Um, another, another resolution that I'm also working on is getting more sleep or going to sleep earlier. Um, many of us, you know, are chronically under rested. Um, we're groggy throughout our days. We're always tired. Um, some of us fall asleep when we're not supposed to in meetings. Um, so getting more sleep is really important. Um, and I think cannabis can be a great, uh, a great way to help you get more sleep because it can help you relax. So for a lot of us, we have trouble falling asleep because our minds are just racing. Like we can't shut it off. Um, cannabis is a great way to shut that machine down. Um, so if you're trying to head to bed a little bit earlier, you're worried that you're not going to be able to fall asleep, go ahead and, and grab 
some cannabis, a CBD tincture, a vaporizer, a little bit, a bit of THC is cool too. Um, and that's going to help you quickly start to relax so that you can fall asleep. Um, a cannabis edible can also help you stay asleep through the entire night because it's going to last six to eight hours, which is sort of perfect. That's kind of how much sleep we need. So a cannabis edible can also be a great way to help you improve your sleep in this new year. Um, cutting your stress. A lot of us feel very stressed and anxious, and a lot of us want to um, be more relaxed as we enter our new year. And it's sort of a no-brainer that cannabis can help you relax. Um, we've already talked about um, many ways to use cannabis for uh, relaxing after work instead of using alcohol. And so um, a lot of people also use cigarettes to help them relax. But again, you can use cannabis instead. So um, if you're feeling anxious, if you're worried, try out a little bit of CBD, which is amazing for relieving some anxiety. And uh, hopefully we can be less stressed in the new year. We have some stressful stuff coming up, but hopefully we can sort of curb that by by using cannabis. So I'm going to move now into some sort of social or emotional health topics. We've been talking a lot about physical health, but there are, are also important resolutions that can be made regarding our social and emotional health. So one big thing um, for a lot of people is staying in touch. It's easy as we get caught up in our busy lives um, to not call the people that we love, to turn down social invitations. Um, a lot of us do that because not only are we busy, but we're also self-conscious or we don't necessarily feel comfortable in social situations. So cannabis is a great way to help you relax socially. You'll feel less self-conscious. You'll feel um, like you're better able to connect with others. Um, and so CBD, again, is a perfect uh, tonic to reach for in these situations because you're going to get um, anxiety relief with CBD, but you're also not going to get stoned where you're like, knocked out on the couch or, or you're, you know, not completely in control of your faculties. So reaching for CBD before a social occasion that you're feeling nervous about can be really useful. Um, and while we're talking about getting social, why not talk to your family and friends about cannabis as a tool for health as we're doing now? And while you're at that, make sure that you're using the hashtag get healthy with cannabis um, to continue this social sharing of how cannabis can help you get healthy this new year. Um, all right. Another uh, another resolution that I really love. It's really kind of near and dear to my heart because I think it, you know, is really important for a lot of us. Um, and I've kind of lumped a few of these together, but reconnecting with nature, practicing meditation or practicing yoga, um, which are all very they're great for your physical health, but also great for your um, emotional uh, well-being and your mental health. So. Um, Using cannabis to deepen a meditation practice or deepen a yoga practice is probably one of my favorite ways that people use cannabis. So um, if you want to start meditating or you're, you're already a meditator, but you're trying to get deeper into your practice and you've hit a little bit of a, of a hurdle, using CBD before you meditate can really help you um, get to a deeper level, settle you down and really help you get in a groove where you're meditating really well. Um, I also know a lot of people who use yoga or use cannabis to get them sort of loose and limbered up and ready for yoga. Um, I know a lot of cannabis friendly states have ganja yoga classes, which is pretty cool where you can use cannabis at your class um, to help you really get into the flow and, and really get into your yoga poses and really just um, really just find a, a central centralizing sort of calm, which is amazing. Um, and then, you know, a lot of people also tell me that they find a greater appreciation for nature or for other people when they use cannabis. Everything just sort of feels um, better. Everything feels calmer. Everything feels um, like it's going to be okay when people use cannabis. So I think that's a really cool way to use cannabis is to deepen meditation, deepen your, connect, uh, your connections with others, um, and improve your yoga practice. And something that kind of goes along with this resolution is a resolution to uh, have more self-love. Um, using cannabis and, and CBD can really help you um, reach a non-judgmental state where you're feeling more clear and you're feeling more relaxed, which can really um, support um, a sense of self-love that a lot of us have trouble getting to when we're like fully cognitive. Um, and then finally, one last resolution that I am aware of that is out there in the world is financial health, which 
might feel like it's kind of hard to talk about when we're talking about adding cannabis or hemp to our lives to improve our health, but um, why not grow your own cannabis plants? Or if you um, have a grower, you can ask your grower for the whole plant. So what's cool about the whole cannabis plant is that you can use all of it. So, you know, most of us are used to using the buds, but you can also use the roots, the stems, the leaves. Um, you can juice those. You can make can of butter out of those. You can even steep some tea. There's good medicine um, in all parts of the plant. And um, so make use of those too. And that's a great way to save money, uh, right? Waste not, want not. Um, also, you can learn how to make your own product. So instead of going out to the dispensary, um, learn how to make your own um, lollipops or your own topicals. Um, and again, you can check out the Weedhorn uh, website and social media pages for recipes, DIY, uh, DIY tools, and other great healthy ideas. Um, which brings me to, the, to my final point tonight. You are an expert. If you've been using cannabis um, in your life to help you feel better, to medicate, to uh, enhance your your day-to-day -day experiences, you are an expert. So please share your recipes, your workout ideas, any other DIY secrets that you have to use cannabis to help you get healthy. Um, and post those ideas on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook, everywhere with the hashtag get healthy with cannabis. Hashtag get healthy with cannabis, everybody. Um, and if you're new to cannabis, if this is um, completely new to you, you don't know where to start, search that hashtag to learn more from your community of experts um, as as well as the Canna MDs. So um, whether you're new, whether you're an expert, make sure you're using and searching for the the get healthy with hash uh, get healthy with cannabis hashtag. Um, and then finally, again, you can check out the Weedhorn website and social media pages um, for lots of recipes and tips for getting healthy with cannabis in this new year. Um, I like to start each year with saying this is going to be the best year yet. So 2017 is going to be the best year yet. Um, help us make that happen by getting healthy with cannabis so that we can all have our best year yet. All right. Have a good night, guys.